Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're going to be looking at a pretty wacky deck here, but this is going to be an Ultra Necrozma End Resolve deck. I know what you're looking at right now. You're probably like, wait, what am I looking at? But uh, this is a deck that I think is kind of funny and memeable. So the whole idea of the deck is going to be using Ultra Necrozma with End Resolve and Beast Rings. Uh, the whole idea is you use End Resolve here. Discard top cards of your deck and you attach all energy to one of your dragons. So we're going to be trying to attach all the energy to a Necrozma. We can maybe get like enough energy on it to knock out a tag team Pokemon on like the first turn. And then what we do is then we can follow up the win with like a Beast Ring to Ultra Necrozma. Another way to build it up is going to be through Ladias Prism Star here. And we even have Blacephalon in the deck for Fireworks Bomb. Combine that with Sky Scorching Light. We actually have a pretty good win condition against decks that use Pidgeotto. Um, so yeah. It's gonna be a weird deck. So before we get the video, of course, shout out to the sponsor card, Kevin TCG, guys. As always, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, if you're still trying to get yourself Cosmic Eclipse codes, um, or Unify Minds codes, or maybe guys trying to get Broken Bonds codes, get them over card, Kevin TCG. Uh, you can also get other codes like Pokemon GX codes, uh, like the Charizard Breakson and Snivy Sword codes that are now just got out. And they have other codes like the Evolution codes, Mew 3 codes, Reshi Ram and Charizard codes. They're all over at Car Kevin TCG. Of course, guys. Uh, if you use get anything from there, use code LDF for the checkout. Get yourself a 5% discount on your purchase. Support the channel. Help yourself out. Help out Karkaravan. Women for everyone. So if you're getting anything from Karkaravan TCG, guys, make sure you use code LDF. So shout out to them. Now let's look at this wacky deck. So I don't really know how I feel about this deck, to be honest with you. But I know it might be kind of funny. So the, again, we've talked about the whole idea of the deck. Um, it might be kind of interesting to try this out. Photon Geyser doing 20, and then you discard all psychic energy from this guy, and it will do 80 damage for each you discarded. So, of course, you want to blow up your opponent's active with an end resolve. Now, this list, I don't know if I quite like it just yet. I honestly, like, the one card I feel like this deck might be missing is more ways to get your energy back in the deck. Other than that, this deck is pretty cool and kind of fun to play. Um... I mean, it's a pretty straightforward concept. We are going to be using Jirachi's Stellar Wish here to be able to find a sense result. We have four Jirachi. We only play 10 Pokemon, so the odds we start with Jirachi hopefully are pretty good. Uh, we do have that baby Blounds. Uh, Fireworks Bomb combined with Sky Scorching Light is insanely good. Uh, we do have that Latias Prism Star 2 for Dreamy Mist. Another great attack, uh, attach base energy from Jiska Pro to each of your bench basic Dragon Pokemon. So we have like two Necrozms on the bench. We can Latias, get 30 damage on the active, and also put energy onto our Necrozmas to set him up for more KO. So that's the whole idea behind Latias. Um, that's it for the Pokemon. We're just keeping it straightforward. There's no Malamars. There's nothing else. Just four alternate Necrozmas. Uh, going into the items now, that's where things get juicy. We are playing four B-String, of course, to build this guy up. One energy recycle system. Now here's the thing. I don't know if I want to play more of these or if I should play one of these and maybe an energy recycler. Because I actually think we should have more ways to get energy back in the deck other than just this energy recycle system. So, if I were to make any changes to the deck, if I were to record the video, I would want to run an Energy Recycler to get energy back in the deck. I think that's actually really, really needed. So, I don't like just one of these. I think this I think this deck needs more ways to get energy back in the deck. I am playing two Great Catchers. Our only search option is going to be four Treasures along with one Pokecom, and maybe we can ride off of Ultra Spaces. I am playing one Rainbow Brush. This is an interchangeable card. The whole idea behind this is, if we get, like, five Psychics on a Necrozma off of an end, we can, like, Rainbow Brush that into a Metal Energy. That's why this is here, but this is an easy takeout if you want to take this out and throw in another energy recycler or an energy recycle system. I am playing three switches just to switch out Stellar Wish. Stellar Wish is going to want to be our main draw engine almost because getting this can find us B-Strings and uh, also finds us end resolve in the early game. I am only playing two plants. We need, to, we need an answer to Keldeo. This is the best we can do. I mean, we do have that Ultra Force Cartonvoy, which should be enough, but I actually think we should play two plants to slow the opponent down too. Um, but I can see this getting taken out. Maybe don't even run a stadium and just play, like, more way to get energy back. Or just play more more psychic energy. Uh, I am playing three Bill. Great card to help. I got two Cynthia's for draw. Four ends resolve. I don't know if you really need four. You can honestly cut down to three if you really wanted to. But four is needed to guarantee it on the opening turn. So go for a nice turn one photon out of nowhere. I am playing a Caitlyn Cynthia. Well, again, one Ultra Force card void for the matchup against Keldeo. Uh, one of the issues with this deck is using N to discard things. You're only really going to need one or two ends per game at most. I doubt you're ever going to use three ends. Um, but I mean, if you do want to play more ways to get energy back in the deck, bump up the end count, or you can keep the four N and play, again, more ways to get energy back in the deck just so that you can streamline N every turn instead of relying on B-Strings. So that is an option. I really do think this deck needs more way to get energy back, just looking back at it. Uh, one cool thing we can use is actually that B-Springer combo, which uh, means if we blow up a Pokemon with Photon Geyser, um, before we take a prize, like we blow up a Dedene or an ADP, we take 
three prizes? No, no, Beast Bringer is going to let us take four prizes, and that is going to be insanely big. We got two boars for Jirachi, no other tools, one beast energy, five metal energy, and 11 psychic. 11 might be on the low side. I think we should play more energy or more waste gain energy back in the deck. Other than that, though, and this deck is kind of interesting. I don't think it's com crazy competitive. It's a cool idea, though, that might, you know, have some cool quirks. The first game I got is actually really cool. Um, but yeah, let's uh, show off the deck. All right, guys, we're going to go try out this Necrozma deck. We're definitely in for some interesting matches. We'll probably end up taking some L's most likely because it's just such a weird deck uh, but who knows maybe we can win a game or two we'll have to find out if we can we'll get into a game here let's see what we're up against first Ooh, it looks like baby blounds which honestly is pretty good thanks to sky scorching light and fireworks bomb like this matchup might actually be favored we'll see we shall see but yeah sky scorching light i think is huge here once he puts all those little birds in play, Sky Scorching Light wipes them all out. And we are going to start with the Jirachi. We have an N. We'll Stellar Wish first, probably. If not, we'll have the Cynthia. If we don't get a treasure off of Stellar Wish, we can get rid of this Ultra Forest Carton Boy. But I am looking into dropping that Sky Scorching Light on my opponent. It would be really big. Wiping out all those birds. But hopefully they put more birds in play first. They, they won't be expecting the alternate cross my deck. So hopefully they play some birds. There's one bird. If they can play four birds down, that's four prizes. We can also do some shenanigans with Baby Brown, too. There's a welder. Hopefully they elm here. Because I do want them to put all them birds in play. No elm. That's annoying. Come on. Bench some more birds. Nope. No birds get benched. Okay. Still a wish. There's the treasure. Okay. We'll get rid of the Ultra Forest, Carton Boy. We'll get the Ultra Necrozma. We'll get the Full Art. You know, I guess Full Art's a boss. We got 10 Psychics in the deck. Good to know. We could end. We can hit a Metal Energy. We can knock him out, leave him stranded. Why not? Nice, we did get a knockout. We actually got rid of some useless stuff too, other than maybe the bill, but we are going to get take a knockout here on this Blacephalon with Photon Geyser. 260 damage. Bye-bye. We'll take our prize. Another energy is good. That's pretty sick. Let's see what they can do now. Again, I want them to bench some boys here, some more birdies, so we can all wipe them out with Sky Scorching Light. Looks like we might just be knocking out Pidgeotto, though. Now, what are the odds they knock out my Necrozma here? We'll find out, because we do have a B-string, so I'm not too upset if we do get knocked out. But it is kind of concerning. They would need a Welder. They need a lot to knock me out. They also need to move the bird, which they might actually get. Oh, my gosh. Yo, okay, I was going to say, did they seriously have a knockout? Uh, let's see if they get anything here. Nope. Just an elm. Wish they did that so we can get more birds, but whatever. So we can actually take advantage of this ultra space. Thank you. I might even just uh, put the Blacephalon into play. Attach to it. There's no need to attack him, to be honest with you. There's no need to attack him. Oh, we didn't get a switch, though. I was hoping we could find a switch here, but they have four cards in their hand. So... They probably don't have much. Maybe I should have retreated to Jirachi, but I don't want to lose the middle energy. We're probably going to need to shuffle those energies back. I'm fine with getting knocked out because then we get Beast Ring. And I don't even think they have a knockout here. They need so much to knock out my Necrozma. So I'm pretty certain they won't get a Fireball Circus off. Hopefully not anyways. And they get like a Welder Fiery Flint, maybe. But they still need two energies. They need quite a bit of energy here to knock me out. They need six energy. Six energy and we get knocked out. If not, then we're safe. And once again, we live. Let's see if they get an energy this time. They do, which means they can hit me for 60, which means we're a little bit weaker now. Play another Ultra Space. Uh, we could keep taking our squids, or our alternate Cosmos. Oh, we have one switch in the deck. That's why. 
That's why we can't find it. We only have one to work with. Rip. Alright, let's bump the stadium. I don't really see the point of attacking him, but we can set up some math with fireworks bombs, so we might as well just hit him for 100. The goal here would be to have this get knocked out, lose to Rachi, go into Blacephalon. That's going to be our plan. This could get great catcher, though. Maybe I shouldn't have benched the Necrozma so quickly. Might have been a, that might have been a mistake. Maybe we should put an energy recycler in the an energy recycle system. We should have both both energy get backs in the deck, to be honest with you. I'm starting to consider that. Having both in the deck might be pretty good. Lana's rod wouldn't be bad either, to be honest. I don't know. There's an elm. Yes! Put all the birds in play you want, because that is just a recipe for disaster for you. That's how we're gonna win the game, by just wiping out all the birds with Sky Scorching Light. There's, we have four prizes on board right now. Another blazer. So we can knock him out here. Which I don't know if I really even want to do. Yeah, we're gonna do for 60. They got one more fire in the prize. We're getting knocked out. They're probably just laughing. Like, bro, this guy has four necrosmas. Ah, <sighs> man. Once again, I don't really care if we get knocked out here. Hmm. Maybe I should retreat. Alright, since we have the metal, we'll just take a knockout. Whatever. Let's just knock him out. I think we should take prizes. Alright, there's a switch. So, if he doesn't get a fireball circus off, or he doesn't find a uh, fire and jump blazer, we'll just switch. Have Jirachi get knocked out. We're getting close to Sky Scorching Light, though. Once he takes a prize, we'll, uh, we need to take a few more prizes. I'm looking for Laddie Ass. We need to get that in play, too, at some point. Maybe we can... Again, if Necrozma can live here, we can try to go Laddie Ass. We have 6 HP, so we actually still would need quite a... We need, what, 5 energy to KO me? Or 4... No, he needs 4 energy to KO me here. With the uh, Fireball Circus. Let's see. You got the Blown versus the Blown. There's too many Blowns. They should make another Blocephalon. And there's a Fiery Flynn. They probably have the Welder in their hand. They've only played one. So we're getting knocked out most likely. I'm a little worried about this getting knocked out. I am kind of regretting benching this kind of early. That kind of seemed silly. Because they do bypass Fireworks Bomb. That could be an issue. But they will also help us set up the Sky Scorching Light Sweep. We do need to find B-String though too. Because we need to be able to set up that Sky Scorching Light play. Because we take three prizes on these birds, we're winning the game. Let's see what they do. They definitely have the knockout here because they fiery flinted. Let's see. Their hand is big though. They're most likely going to great catch for me. This is not good. We need to get another supporter here off of Stellar Wish. If it's an end resolve, that's going to be really bad. But we have Switch to work with. If anything, we might just go for a fireworks bomb. There's a B string. All right, nice. Here's what we're gonna do. The bench. We're gonna B string. So the wish. The B string, perfect. Hmm. So I think we knock him out. And we have two Necrozmas and we Sky Scorching Light for a game. That's going to be the play. What am I doing here? One Psychic here. For the knockout. Okay, what are we looking at here? I think we'll take that switch, just so we can keep doing double star wish, try to get like, uh, just, just we need to dig for that psych energy, is pretty much what we're trying to get at here. Oh, 
We have game as long as we can find a Psychic Energy for Necrozma. We are a little low on energy, though. We do have a few Psychic Sprites, I think, though. That's not a Psychic. We have a few Stellar Wishes we can work with, though, to try and dig for Cynthia or an End, an end Resolve would be good. Even Bill could get us Energy Recycler. Or Psychic Recycle System. But we do have game on board here. We just wipe him out with Sky Scorching Light. Let's see. There's a Flint. So, I gotta expect us getting knocked out here, right? If they gotta knock- if they don't knock me out, I don't know, honestly, if I wanna do anything. All I wanna do is for them to take a prize so I can Sky Scorch them. And they know they have no way out of Sky Scorching Light, unless they reset Stand Me to 3, but I doubt they're playing that. There's no way they're gonna be able to stop Sky Scorching Light. Mew does not prevent Sky Scorching Light, which is really good. And they probably don't even play Mew to begin with, because it's pointless. Yeah. Belcephalon might be one of your best matchups. As long as they get enough birds in play, that pretty much gives you 4-3 prizes. Okay, there we go. They do get the knockout. Because they're definitely going to get a fire crystal here. And then all we have to do is not whiff a psychic energy and we win the game. That's all we have to do is just not whiff psychic. We just got to find one psychic energy and we win. They stamp me here. We are going to lose that option to do double Jirachi, possibly. We're probably going to lose, actually, if we don't even win this turn. That's the other thing, too. I think we lose. Well, they're edible Cephalons, but they do have Victini. They still have a few Welders. So, yeah, we pretty much just need to find the Psychic Energy here to guarantee the win. Kind of regret attaching the Blown now. All right. Here we go. This is the dream. We need one Psychic. Need one Psychic. We have the, okay, it's the cycle systems in the deck. We have three psychic energy. Not a terrible odds, to be honest with you. The odds aren't that bad. B string, we don't need that. We'll take the bill. Bill might have to be a last resort. Cynthia, alright. <laughs> might have to just go Cynthia here. All right, here we go. We're gonna go for it. We just need one Psychic Energy to win. And we got it, nice. I was, I didn't see it for a sec. I was like, oh no, we actually just lost. Come on, move. Why, okay, seriously, why can't I click? There we go, that's annoying. So I'm just very slowly. And it's a light. Not a bad dub at all, folks. Not a bad dub at all. We did have a Psych Energy prized. Never mind, I was wrong. I was completely wrong. Not bad, though. That was a pretty good match. And that's a matchup that I think is winnable because of the Sky Scorching Light. So, that was pretty nice. Alright, guys. Let's go try out the deck again. Uh, whoops, wrong deck. Rip. I'm not playing the Slurpuff deck again. We just made a video on that. Uh, let's see what we do now. I do have that Ends Turnator deck built that I got requested before. But this Necrozma deck just sounded cool. We're up against Try Harder, who's playing... It looks like Malamar, which is not very fun. I mean, the one thing we can maybe do against Malamar is Fireworks Bomb. But we'd have to use uh, the Blacephalon. We could maybe pull off a Sky Scorching Light Fireworks Bomb knockout. That could actually be a thing. We'll see. Oof, our starting hand's looking pretty miserable, though. We do get the draw cheek start. We have Beast Bringer, but Beast Bringer is doing nothing for us here in this matchup, which is unfortunate. Maybe Beast Bringer. Um, we could, I mean, if they, if they are playing Necrozma Malamar, maybe they'll put a Necrozma play early. We can get three prizes, which would make it a lot easier to pull off that Sky Scorching Light win condition. So far, though, our starting hand is not good enough to really get there. Alright, we'll see what we can do, though. We'll see what we can do. Yeah, they are playing Malamar. We do draw Bill. Okay, let's Stellar Wish. Hmm, we'll stick the end, I guess. Not much else we can really do. We'll just Bill here, see if we can find treasure. Here we do, nice. 
We get another B string. I think we'll take the B string. Just have two in my hand. Then we don't discard them with N. That seems pretty nice. Well, I'll get rid of the B Springer. I think we don't need this card right now. Get the uh, Necrozma. Put a Metal Energy on it and pass. And we'll see what we can do next. It'd be really cool if we can play like a Miss Magius Necrozma deck and then just go like blow up for Miss Magius. But that would not happen. Because you can't use Miss Magius with Sky Scorching Light. But maybe that's a cool combo we can try on the future. I don't know. Um, there's a treasure getting played. If we do try that combo, it actually wouldn't be bad with uh, the Blacephalon. We can try to do early fireworks bomb and then set up a Sky Scorching Light. Miss Magius, Blown, Necrozma, question mark, busted archetype. I know there's that baby Blacephalon um, makes Magius deck the Yellow Swallow made a video on. But they are putting a lot of low HP things in play, which I like. I like to see it. Ooh, they have a turn on Lily. Rip. Don't like to see that. But our ring edition, I think, will just be with the fireworks, bomb, sky, scorching light combo. I think that seems pretty sick. Being able to uh, hit off that fireworks bomb is going to be big. Because we, then we can set up the Malamars each to be killed by Sky Scorching Light. So that's going to be how we're going to try to win this game. We'll see if that works. We'll see. The problem is, I mean, well, it's not really a problem. Necrozma gets two shots by Giratina. I'm just going to pass. So we don't have to worry about losing Beast Ring now. I like to see it. Oof, switch. Not really a good card to see though either. Is it worth it to Photon Geyser? Or is it worth it to sit back another turn? Hmm. I don't know. I think it might be best to take prizes here. We have a switch. So we can switch and end next turn. And then taking the more prizes we take, the better. Right? Because we're trying to get that Sky Squishing Light set up. And we need the prizes. Because we're not going to be able to Sky Squish Light for a full bench wipe. Right? We need to kind of work it out what we're doing. If they play Viridian down, though, that'll help me out a lot. Viridian's going to be a really good card to see. There's a Pokecom getting back Jirachi. They're probably going to get Malamar. They're definitely going to be attacking me this turn, most likely. We'll see if they get there. Hmm. They do 130 with Spell Tag. We'll have 10 HP left. So we don't have to worry about getting knocked out if we uh, knock them out here. If they get a Spell Tag on, they'll, they'll still won't, they won't knock me out. They could knock me out with a Necro the alternate Necrozma, though, if they actually get there. They can get a uh, Beast Energy or something. There's a Psychic Charge. They need a Switching card and an Energy. There's the Energy. And it happened to be a Metal, which means we don't know about Ultimate Necrozma now, which is good. Because they can Sky Scorching like me, too, if I have to put any dra more Jirachis in play, which we probably will have to, because Jirachi is important here. They do have everything they need, and, and a Lily on top of that to rub in the Salt. And then they get the Spell Tag, too. They play three supporters, but they're going to get the spell tag on the Giratina. Treasure gets rid of Latios. They get more Inkays, that'd be great. Yes, they are getting more Inkays. Beautiful. Because then uh, that's going to help us get to that Sky Scorching Light point. We need to get Baby Blacephalon, though, in play two. And I don't know if I want to end, because if I do end and we lose Blacephalon, that's not good. Because Blacephalon is important here to set up these Malamars to be knocked out. And no spell to it. Nice. We'll see what they hit for 40. That's actually pretty relevant, too. What they hit for 40. If they hit themselves, we can knock them out. But if they hit a Malamar, that'll mean they get Sky Scorching Lighted. That's a pretty good uh, pretty good thing going on. Is they have to really be careful where they put their Shadow Impact damage. Let's see. Yeah, they're definitely thinking about it. If they hit themselves, we knock them out with an energy. And they are going to hit themselves. They know that Sky Scorching Light is going to be a thing. And we drew the energy and knock him out. That's pretty hilarious. Alright, we need another treasure. No. Pokecom might be fine for now. Maybe we just knock him out. I don't want to play down the power plant because they don't really play any abilities. But the same thing, if that that's good treasure bait. Come on, let's see what our prize is. 
All right, there we go. We can uh, be string now. Nice. As long as they don't reset stand me, which I don't think they play in their deck. I don't think, I don't think Malamar decks play reset. Even the DDG deck that played Trevnor didn't even play reset stamp. So like, yeah, it should be good. Should be good. We do need to get that Bulcephalon though. Do need Bulcephalon. Maybe we should play Ultra Space instead of uh, Power Plant. Yeah, this deck's definitely a work in progress, but it's all Gucci. Let's see if they get a knockout here. They need another energy. They have the triple Malamar. That will get them there. But again, I see Malamar. I also see four prizes. So. Hmm. Well, actually, to be honest with you, I think we gotta let him knock out a Jirachi here because obviously we wanna be able to do Fireworks Bomb. We aren't gonna be able to do it if we give up another Necrozma. I wish I played Island Challenge Amulet, but they might not see the Bulcephalon coming. So I think if we just feed him Jirachi here, we should be okay. Like, we have a really good hand, we just need a better, better stuff right now. No, if they bench another Jirachi, that'd be great. See what they get here. They are getting the Necrozma ready to go. Our plan is going to be 30, 30, 90, and then 10 on the Jirachi to take four prizes. We don't have to take any more prizes. We can just slowly build up to that point. They're going to hit themselves. Ooh, they're going to hit a Malamar, so they're going to give me that free prize. Probably play Grey Catcher though, so it's really risky to bench this thing. Come on, treasure. Bill? Okay, that's good. Bill is huge. There we go, we got treasure, we got another bill. Should we take the switch? No, I think we just gotta take treasure bill. We just gotta hope they don't knock me out with Ultra Necrozma here. Again, I'm banking on the fact they don't play Reset Stamp, so we're gonna prematurely get another Ultra. We're gonna have to lose Jirachi here to make this work. As long as they don't Great Catcher me and knock me out, we should be okay. But we are setting up our win condition. They can't reset me. They can't Great Catcher me. Those are the two things that I hope do not happen this turn. All we have to worry about. We could have maybe tried to feed him a laddie ass too. We just didn't have an energy. I guess we could have tried to end onto it, but we needed the bill, so it didn't matter. Tango Latias would have been nice, though. Would have been really nice. And he falls for the bait. Beautiful. He fell for the bait. This is a big turn for us. This is a really big turn for us. So. Ooh, Caitlyn and Cynthia. No, I can't get anything bad. I don't even get bad. Okay, well, hold on. First things first, Pokecom will get us the Necrozma. Or the Bulcephalon. If it was prize, wouldn't be good. So now we want to get the Necrozma back. Now we need to get Necrozma back. How many treasures? Two. Nah, we'll dig for it. Didn't get it. Rip. So if this thing gets knocked out, it's game over. It's game over if Necrozma gets knocked out. Alright. Fireworks bomb. One, three, 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 three. We have 70 damage left. Not bad. We're not gonna Malamar. Honestly, I think we should. Take another prize. I think that's actually worth it. A little overkill, but it doesn't really matter. It's 
So yeah, as long as this guy doesn't get knocked out, we win. We have game. I'm a little worried, not gonna lie. I am a little worried here. But uh, we'll see. Come on, don't win. Do not win. Do not, do not win. Or, yeah, just don't win. <laughs> just don't do it. Don't, don't have a knockout on my bench guy. See, this is why I want another Necrozma. Oh, they got a Lily for six. They have no energy in the discard pile, though, other than a metal, so that's really good. This is why I didn't want to take a knockout on the active. There's no point. Man, this is an intense finish. This is a very... Oh, man. Come on. Let's see it. Let's let's do it. Come on. Come on. This is very, 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 very close. Come on, don't do it. They need so much to get a knockout here. Worst case scenario, they have a great catcher, get rid of two psychics, and they have a beast energy. Come on. Viridian, ooh, that does help him get an energy. Bro, I am so scared right now. I just want to win the game. We can do another Sky Scorch Elite win. No! He had the Great Catcher. No! But he doesn't get rid of the energy, though. Okay, good. Dude. Bro. He only does 180, though, with Necrozma's Photon Geyser with the three energies. Pretty annoying. He, the thing is, Mount Marvel only played one great catcher. Yo, if he actually gets a knockout here, I'm done. To be fair, though, we can still win if we can draw an across. We can end his resolve onto it. Dude, I swear if this guy wins. I don't think he can, though. I don't think he has game here. Can't believe he actually got a great catcher. That's kind of, that cheeses me. That's his retreat play. I don't... Like, what else could he get with Stellar Witch? He's not playing Beast Ring, is he? Still, though, removing the Malamar just makes it impossible for him to do that extra 10 damage. So that's why I wanted to knock out the Malamars there. So this stuff... Something stupid like this would not have happened where my opponent got insanely lucky. And gets that great catcher. So they would, yeah, we would have been knocked out here if we didn't get rid of that Malamar. Oh my God, can't believe this guy actually almost knocked me out. That is pretty stupid, if you ask me. But we're gonna win. Holy cow, dude! <sighs> Go play the lottery, try harder. Go play the lottery because you should, you'll probably end up winning it because of how lucky you got. Um, but yeah, not a bad game at all. I definitely think we need to play more Pokemon search options for sure. Um, I think the power plants should go, and we should probably play Ultra Space. I think we should definitely put Ultra Space in the deck, 100%. I don't think we need the power plant. Um, I might even take out a Beast Bringer, to be honest with you. I don't know. We didn't really get to play against a tag team deck, so it's kind of hard to decide. I think the Rainbow Brush can definitely get taken out for a another uh, way to get energy back in the deck. Other than that, that was a pretty good video. I think we got to show off the deck pretty well. We got to use a lot of Sky Scorching Light wins, which is pretty sick. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below to help me the reaching 7,000 subs or 6,400 subscribers. And as always, guys, make sure to use code LDF at Card Cavern TCG if you get anything from there. Follow me on Twitter down below, too. I actually tweet out this deck list a little bit early um, on Twitter. So if you guys follow me on Twitter, you get to see early decks for some of my videos that might happen. So see you guys later. Bye-bye.